Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watch Over Realms video. It is 2130 Thursday, March the 28th. It's time for our Should You Summon video, except everyone should be summoning, all right? If you're here to know if you should, yes. The answer is yes, you should summon. Well, I'm going to answer what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to give some tips on which banner you should summon on this weekend because we have some excellent ones, all right? Let's get to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we are going to discuss our banners that start tomorrow. As I said, today's Thursday the 28th. Today is Thursday the 28th. Tomorrow on Friday the 29th, uh, a couple banners start. So we have our inaugural 15x drop rates, which is incredible. They're doing this for Easter. And oh my goodness, what a banner. All right. So we have Medan, Nisalt, Mariel, uh, Medan. I mean, they're all decent. Uh, Nisalt is top tier for, well, maybe that's changing with poisons now. Well, they're all decent, all right? Should you be pulling on a, on a banner specifically for these epics? No. But if you get them and you don't have them, it certainly won't hurt your account, all right? The three that we need to talk about, the really, really good champs are Hex, Zillatu, and Razak, all right? Hex and Zillatu are both absolutely top tier especially in guild boss, but they can be used almost everywhere. Razak is really good. He hits really hard. He's very, very useful, primarily in gear raid three. But the big thing that he does is, um, in addition to being a champ that you can absolutely use, he gives, let's actually go to his page, right? So we can talk about it. So um, yeah, he attacks, right? All champions attack, it's cool. He hits pretty hard, but the cool thing that he has is he has this passive, um, where he, you get extra experience if he's on the team. Why isn't this dragging over? What's going on right now? There we go, now it's working. So he has his passive, I don't know what happened there. Experience obtained through battle is increased by 5%. And then if you have, if you get Captain Reeve also, you get another 5%. So if he's on the team and you don't have Reeve, you get 5% extra experience. If he's on the team and you have Reeve on your account, Reeve doesn't have to be uh, on the team, but just on your account, then you get 10% bonus experience, all right? So that really helps when you're farming experience for Corridors of Glory and, and training tournaments. But he's absolutely useful too. He's really top tier in gear raid three. He's fantastic. Hex is a magic damage dealing marksman. If you're here, you probably know what Hex does, right? He's fantastic. The big stuff to look for on him, uh, A3 extends his uh, ultimate up to a maximum of 30 seconds. A5 is better now. He got a little bit of a buff, but uh, he's really, really good even at A0. That's what I love about Hex is that he is a really, really, really good champ at A0. If you just get one copy of him, he will do excellent work for you. The other thing that I love is that Zillatu is also a champ that is really, really, really good at A0. Both of these champions are absolutely top tier champs in most areas of the game, specifically for guild boss, even at A0. You don't need to chase Awakenings. Awakenings obviously make them better, but they are excellent at A0. So if you don't have them, you absolutely want them. The other banner that opens tomorrow is our exclusive event for Captain Reeve. So this was our first exclusive after the game went live last summer, about eight or nine months ago, something like that. And he's a damage dealing plus crowd control utilizing defender. Okay, so he does some damage. Ultimate uh, attack hits a bunch of people, inflicts stun, which is fantastic. And it lasts a long time. He hits a bunch of folks. He just inflicts slow on people that are around him. Okay, so you can use him. Uh, he's, I mean, you can use him anywhere you want some damage or a defender, right? He's not really meta anywhere, but he's good. He's good. If you don't have meta defenders, right? If you don't have an awesome broke here, then Captain Reeve is really, really good. The only place, like... The place that he shines the most 
Uh, he's good in Void Rift, right? He's good in... Um, he, he can be used in the lower stages in the new gear dungeon, right? Uh, he makes faction trials really, really easy, but you don't need him for faction trials. You can just gear up Cyrene in uh, tank gear to do faction trials for cultists. Um, he's good, but the thing that he has going for him, right, is he's an exclusive. The other thing that he has going for him is, there we go, is he is the counter to Razak, right? So Razak gives you extra experience. Captain Reeve, being a pirate, gives you extra gold. So anytime he's on the team, you get an extra 6% gold. This is really useful. Um, you, once you're in game, you don't really farm gold anymore, but when you farm AMR, if you throw him on all of your gear raid farms, right? Gear raid one, two, three, AMR, even gear dungeon, you throw him in there. And this normal repetitive stuff that you do all the time, you just get extra gold, which is really, really, really nice. And then if you have Razak on the team, his counterpart that's in the Hex and Zilla 2 banner, right? You get an extra 6%, so you get 12%. So extra gold is really good. Um, he does good damage. He does good crowd control. He is a good champ. Awakens are decent, but not crazy, right? Um, more stuns, more damage, health. Uh, increases the slowing effect area. That's pretty cool. Means lowered cost at A4 and uh, increases duration a little bit. They're good, but again, he's another champ that he's really good. He does his job at A0. He only gets better with awakenings. But you don't need the awakenings, right? And then the weird one, we've got Ancient Summoning on Saturday. Sorry, not the weird one yet. Ancient Summoning on Saturday. This is just a normal Ancient Banner. So Valderon is coming to the pool, um, but this isn't a banner for Valderon, all right? So don't get that mistaken. This is just normal ancient summons. There's not a 2x, there's not a 10x, there's not a 15x, nothing like that. It's just if you want to pull for ancients, you're pulling for ancients. Pretty simple. The weird one is on Monday, there's a one-day event with a 15x for Apsin, Nyx, and some epics here. And I think, I think the only reason this is here is Dolores bait to try and try and pull some people away from pulling on the Hex and Zilla 2 banner. Because Hex and Zilla 2 are so good. If it was the only banner this weekend, then no doubt everyone would be pulling on it who isn't going for Reeve, 100%. But with Dolores here in the mix, Dolores is absolutely necessary for all endgame content. She's so good at what she does, bringing uh, inspiration to the team, that if you don't have her, that is, that is a big block to your account in the level of progression that you can make. So I think this is here. I think this banner is here as a bait banner to convince early and mid-game players to try and keep them from pulling on the Zillatu banner. And that, my friends, is why it starts on Monday the 1st, because that is after the Zillatu hex banner is over. So you can't pull on the Aps and Nyx banner until you get a Dolores and then move over to Hex and Zillatu. No, no. <laughs> you got to make a decision. If you don't have Dolores, are you going for Dolores or are you going for uh, the big boys here, Hex and Zilla too, right? Those are, those are the big ones. So we've got four different banners going on this weekend. Everyone is going to be summoning. The question, right, after all of this chatting is which one should you be going for? So Ancient Summoning. Let's start with the easiest one first. Ancient Summons. There's no real reason to be summoning this weekend unless you just summon in every ancient summoning event. If that's the case, you do you, have fun, let me know how it goes, all right? If you don't do that, then my recommendation is to wait for a banner. Um, their Valderon is getting released this weekend, but um, we don't know when a banner will be for him. Praetis, we have not had a 10x banner for yet, but we just had one on Forerunners, so one should come pretty soon to Global. All right, um, the new um, Piercer's Legendary Lord is out on the test server, Ivar, and he is mad good. So good. 
Um, we also, on Global, we have not had a 2x event for Ancients yet. So we have a lot of really good opportunities for Ancient Summons. The asterisk to that, right, is that now that Valderon is in the pool, a lot of people want to get him. And to sweeten this cherry, um, can we see it here? Let's go to the ultimate leaderboard. Yeah, the ultimate leaderboard for this weekend for the big Krakens around the world. Whoever gets top one, two, and three, they get a free copy of Valderon. All right, so people are gonna be summoning. You get big points from Ancients. You get big points from Ancients because you pull a lot of Lords and Lords are worth the most points. So <clears throat> people are gonna be pulling like crazy for Zilla 2 and Hex. People are gonna be pulling um, Ancients even if they normally wouldn't so that they can hit leaderboard and get uh, a free Valderon. Yeah. A lot. I'm, I'm curious what that leaderboard is going to look like at the end of the weekend, all right? So, um, unless you're going for that free Valderon or you just pull Ancients every time there's an Ancient event, don't pull. Wait for a banner, all right? There's so few champions in the Ancient pool, Arbiters and Chaos, um, and Lords, right? There's so few champs that when there's a banner, you are almost guaranteed to get the champ you want. It's, it's such a good deal. Wait for a banner, all right? Um, for the sneaky one on Monday, Dolores, should you take the bait? <sighs> Man, um, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Um, I, think, I think I could see an argument, right? Um, if you have... Because Reeve, Reeve being an exclusive, right, you have to pull him with blues and diamonds. Um, and since he's an exclusive, that means you're not guaranteed to get him until 250 summons in. You might get him before that, but you're not guaranteed to, which I wonder, is he a 10x or a 15? Yeah, 15x, sweet. So the question is, do you, um, I, I would say, man, what do you do? What do you do? If you need Dolores, I still say go for Hex and Zilla 2. Because with 15x rates, Hex and Zilla 2 are so good in so much content if you don't have them, right? If you don't have them, they are so good. You absolutely want them. So if you... Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words because they're all so good. Um, ugh, man, I don't know. I'm actually kind of stumped. I think I, I think I'm struggling with my own recommendation because I was planning on just saying, "Hey, if you don't have Reeve, go for him because he's an exclusive." All right, that's simple, done and dusted. If you can get him, get him. If you're not guaranteed to get him, right? If um, then maybe don't waste your summons because he's not exceptional. Okay. Um, Hex and Zilla 2 will transform your account much more than Reeve will if you are going between one of them. Okay. So um, most people are going to be pulling on the Hex and Zilla 2 banner. All right. If you can get your guaranteed Reeve, then absolutely get your guaranteed Reeve. If you don't have a Dolores, I still say pull for Hex and Zilla too. Maybe save a Divine for Dolores. I don't know. It depends on how hard stuck you are. I guess that's why I'm struggling, right? Because, because there's so many variables depending on which stage you're stuck at and what your current roster looks like. Um, that's why I'm struggling, all right? So, so to caveat that, because there's so many different variables, I'm going to say... If you can get Reeve, get Reeve. The vast majority of people want to go for Hex and Zilla too. All right, hardly anyone needs to be summoning Ancients this weekend. And there will be a few people that in specific circumstances, a Dolores will benefit their account the most. Um, so if you think you're in that position, then hit me up, leave a comment, join the Discord server, sh server, shoot me a direct message. I'll try and help walk you through that if you're struggling with this decision, right? Because 
I was just struggling with my recommendation. It's tough. Dolores is amazing if you don't have her, okay? She's amazing, period, right? But like, she's a big draw if you don't have her. So, so if you're struggling with that, if you think you're in that small percentage where um, she will really help your account much more than Hex and Zilla do, um, let me know, okay? So that's my, that's my recommendation for the weekend. Should you be summoning? Yes, everyone is summoning this weekend. I hope yours go great. Um, I don't have much to summon this weekend, but yeah, I'm gonna pull mine too. And um, let me know how yours go, all right? I love hearing about people's summoning luck, good, bad, or otherwise. Leave a comment, right? Join the Discord server, like I said, if you're looking for advice. We got a couple hundred folks now. We're building the community. We're having a bunch of fun. So um, if you appreciated this, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next one. <laughs>